Every tourist who comes to Zagreb is sure to come to the main city square. That is why the Zagreb Tourist Board has its centre here. But tourists don't have to go in here to get their bearings. The Zagreb Tourist Board has an info team walking on two routes in Zagreb. This way, the information is brought to tourists who don't have to go look for it. This project has been going on for six years. It takes place in the peak tourist season between May and October. Our teams walk in pairs. Until this year, they had blue uniforms with the I sign. Now they wear a special apron which is actually the city plan. On capital, the Church Hill, the info team is joined by two members of the Cravat Ceremonial Regiment. And the tourists jump at the occasion. The number of Japanese tourists has been steadily rising. The Millennial Cathedral is one of the unmistakable landmarks. The space in front of the church is the ideal spot for helping some lost souls. This is Lower Town. Mm -hmm. This is the Old Town. Mm -hmm. So we have a little guide. Brochures and maps are always ready at hand. Here and here is the St. Mark's Church. Okay, okay. That's in this way. Yeah, yeah. It's not difficult to find. Three yes. minutes or uh, wait, ten. Five, ten minutes. Ten minutes to walk. Five. Uh, they ask uh, most of the time for accommodation and what can they do in Zagreb and uh, what can they see. And uh, we have uh, two routes, upper and the lower town. This is our new uniform. This is the old one. We work in pair. The lower town route takes them across the pedestrian streets of Gaiva and Bogovicheva, which lead to the Flower Square. This cute little square, with its open-air terraces surrounded by 19th century palaces, is one of the liveliest places in the city. Even if you prefer sightseeing by yourself, it's comforting to know that these guardian angels are around, always ready to help. <laughs>